history must be properly researched and recorded to enable the recipients who were not there when it happened follow the sequence of events and benefit from it. The Bible, for example, though not a history book, but facts about events that took place long ago, was carefully penned down by its writers. Some of the Bible writers, like King Solomon and King David, went as far as writing down their own personal blunders and serious sins. These exceptional and truthful characters are worthy of emulation. Therefore, we urge everyone not to see this work as castigation towards anyone, dead or alive, but as the most utmost truth aimed at teaching all of us that wars can never serve as an arbiter for settling human conflict. The following songs that you're about to hear are dedicated to Major Conrad Mwawo, Commander, 11th Division, Biafran Army. atrocities committed on the African soil took place in Nigeria between 1967 and 1970. Experts on human conflicts targeted Operation Wipeout the Igbo tribe. The onslaught began when 30,000 Igbo men, women and children, including newborn infants, were brutally massacred in the utmost gruesome manner. It became an obvious case of pogrom where the killing continued in Lagos and other parts of Nigeria. This development triggered an exodus as the Igbos headed back home. Instead of taking adequate action to stop the illegal killing of Ndibo, the Nigerian military junta, under the pretext of police action, launched a coordinated attack on the already
physically and psychologically brutalized Igbo man. And that day it says that the sheep is not a good dancer, but not when the drummers come to drum on his doorsteps. Following the purported police action on the others of the then Lieutenant Colonel Yakubu Gawan and his chieftains, a battle line was drawn. The Igbo man, having no weapons at his disposal, retaliated using whatever he could lay his hands on. Machetes, clubs, bows and arrows, then guns, were all the Biafrans had. The Nigerians believed that the war was not going to last for more than... Good morning to you all Biafrans. You are welcoming you this very morning, the 23rd day of November in the year of our Lord 2017. This is Thursday for goodness sake in the Holy Land of Biafra. This is exactly 9.30 a.m. in the morning. Before we must proceed, we must call upon to cook the play For he alone is worthy to be praised. My Lord and my God who liveth in heaven. You said that we shall come on this very generation and make sure that Biafra comes under our own watch. Despite all the intimidation, despite all the harassment, despite anything that will come to us, you have sent only your son, Mazenam, the Kano, to come and liberate your people. That is why we have come. That is why we was born. That is why you sent Mazenam, the Kano, that at the end, when we must restore Biafra, we will talk upon it and will worship you forever and ever. We don't do Biafra with anything, we do it only to Chukukika Biyama's name. We don't do it with any other idol worshipping, we don't do it with any other political aim, we don't do it to you know, maybe we will come become governor or any other rubbish. We do it because we want Biafra to come in our own generation, that is why we have come. I have preached Biafra in many villages in Biafra land. I have preached Biafra in Lagos through the power of Chukukika Biyama, that is the way we do things here. And we call upon to Kukika Bemoye when Pulimini. We say that at the end of this very program, we will achieve a lot of things. We will say to Kukika Bemoye, please and please, let those souls that have died never be in vain. Those people that have died, let it never be in vain. Those that lost their life, those that have been tortured, those that are in, secret, in different secret prison, those of them that cannot see, that cannot walk because of some bullet wound or the other. I say, my Tukul Kara, never you forget your children that is suffering. El Chafuqa, and I'm going to tell you, you see, you know, we are, you are angry with us, but we ask you for forgiveness, Tukul Kara, we ask you to forgive us our sins. You are angry with us. That is why you left our Saful and Britain to be overrunning your children that was created on this very planet Earth. You left our Saful and to overrun us, to take our resources and kill us every day. Britain is, is supporting them. The whole world is supporting them. They are killing us. We know you are angry with us. For how long will this very cost be upon us to cook the please? We beg of you, please. We know we have seen the gospel, but remember your promise. Remember what you promised us. We have come back again to worship you in total and very honesty. We worship you to Kweka. We ask you, please and please, let these sins be lifted up upon us. Let these curses be lifted up. That at the end, Biafra will come. Even if you don't want us to, this curse to be lifted, look at the blood that was shed and, and let mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, Chuko Kika Abiyama, please and please. Let your mercy triumph upon us. That this very Biafra we are pursuing will come because it is our only hope. The only hope we have in this very life is Biafra. And we ask you to go again. May this very Biafra come in truth and in every honesty. We say, he say, he say, he say to that very prayer. We are welcoming you this very morning. We say, may Chuko Kika Abiyama bless all of you that have joined us this very morning. We have a lot of issues on ground. A lot of serious issue on our own table now. We have uh, we have a time for appreciation. We have two things involved this very morning. We are trying to appreciate some of our people in Anambra that listen to what we are saying. Anambra people have made us proud. proud. He, they made us proud on 18th of November. Despite all the rubbish results they are con concocted and bringing it out on people for people to see. Anambra has made us proud. And we are proud of it, to be from Anambra. We are proud of that. We are proud to say we come from Anambra. That is it. Anambra has made us proud. 
and we are going to ask all of you. People have been calling me, appreciating, saying, May you God bless all of you. We say thank you to them. The job will continue. The job continues. That is why we write today as appreciation time. Appreciation time because the things, let me say to, to all of you to understand, it is not easy to do this at all. It is not easy. It's not easy because we don't believe in any rubbish politician, politics in Nigeria. What we believe in is Biafra, nothing more, nothing less. Apart from Biafra, everything is rubbish. We don't believe in any politics. We don't believe in any politics. What we believe in it is Biafra, nothing more, nothing less. We don't do politics here. Politics is a dirty game, especially in the zoo called Nigeria. We don't intend to go through the route of politics. If you dare go through the route of politics, you fall. Otuku tried it and came back in disgrace. Otuku tried it and came back. They tried and formed that book. He came back. They couldn't even allow him to be the president. Azikiwe was there. He came back in disgrace. Aku Yulusi was there. He came back in disgrace. So we don't believe in any politics in Nigeria. What we believe in it is Biafra. Please, if you are watching this very video, go and invite your friends and well wishers to come and watch with you. Share this very video and come and, and invite your well wishers and friends to come and watch with you. Kadia, Mama. In a little instant, now we are going to close this video, so we are going to take calls immediately. We are going to be reading our news here because there are things we need to treat here. There are things we need to treat here. There are things we need to treat here. The issue of Anambra railway station not working is a very, very big one. Anambra railway station is not working. For nearly two weeks now, it is not working. And the people beyond, behind that very thing are the people we call our own. We are going to expose them this very morning. This very people will hear it. You know, I said the people think I was joking. They will hear from us. They will hear from us this very morning that our little sister in Anambra is not working. Our little sister in Anambra is not working. It is not working. And people must know what, the reason why it is not working. It's not that it's not good, but it's very, very okay. But some idiots decide to, to make money. They want to use our what we are doing to make money. Some idiots in Anambra. Some idiots in Anambra. We have a big issue here. The little lesson in Anambra is not working. It is not working at all. It is not working. And we're letting our people understand that these politicians have used our people to sabotage our little station. We ask that very idiot to make sure that this very radio is on now, but he don't want to do it. He is wearing the spirit of our people down. The radio is not talking in Anambra, and some people are there, hovering around and hanging their hand as coordinators and rubbish they, they say that they are. We continue to expose them. I tell you, Joko, I tell you to go and on that very radio. He think I was joking. I will expose him, and after this very morning, he don't do anything about it. I will read his, I will read his profile. I will see it. I will read his profile. He think we are doing joking here. We have a call on WhatsApp. The call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Give us a name and where you are calling from. I'm calling from Guinea Conakry. Thank you, my. Give us your name. My name is Onega. I come in state in the other land. Thank you very much. Go ahead and speak to my brother. So, please, I want to know because we see that people did not vote the election, people get the numbers, and people vote for the election. We want to know how, how, how come there is no people that vote for the election, but later now we got the number. Yeah, we are live on air. 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 Yeah. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you very clear. Go ahead. Clear, clear. 
I said, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you. So, um, in the election, uh, on the election of November, we see it on network and everywhere that uh, people do not come at vote, but later the number uh, they give to win the election is much. So, how come about it? Okay, by that way, the... you know, we are in the zoo called Nigeria. We have to understand one thing. We want to let the whole world know that even if you vote or you don't vote, they still put who they want to put there. We have opened it. We uh, could have called, but that's what we have done. The people have seen it. Even if you vote, they will put who. If you vote, nothing is, nothing changes about if you vote or you don't vote. That is it. That is the zoo politics for you. How can 10% people in Anambara be the deciding what will happen to 90% people in Anambara? They got 10 percent, we got 90 percent. 10 percent of people have decided who to govern 90 people. Is that not? I don't know how it is, how it sounds. We we'll continue to discuss. Thank you very much, my dear brother. That is what is going on. The zoo don't have any law, they don't know what is the democracy. They understand only let us go and get money. Can I buy politics? If that is the only thing we understand. Thank you very much, my dear brother. There was no election, and I'm brother. That's what I was saying. The Nigerians the Nigeria do that because of, they know that if they lose election in Anambra State, they have lost for other states. That is why they do that. Yeah. Because when they lose the election in Anambra State, they have lost it in Enugu. If they did not give the, 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 if they did not give the election in Anambra State, then it will not happen in Imo State. Thank you very much, my brother. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Thank you. Can you hear me? <laughs> Give us your name and where you are calling from. Good morning from here. Yes, my name is Chidos Diemen. I am calling from Monitor. Oh, Monitor, thank Oboko. you. Oboko. Is radio speaking over there? No, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working, it's not working there. For how, many, how, for how long now? It was Saturday. It was Saturday. It, it, it was Saturday. It was in five days, look, uh, back there. So, the entire day of tonight, I've never talked. I've never heard it. I've never heard it. Uh, up to today. today. Up to today. Yes, up to today. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we, are putting, we are putting our people to understand what is happening uh, to us now. Uh, we are let, uh, hold on. Uh, Just hold on. We are letting our people to understand what is going on now. Our radio uh, uh, releases on the AFM in Anambra is not working. Since Saturday till now, a state where we decided to boycott Anambra election, this idiot called the Okotazi have used that radio to make millions of naira. Thinking we don't know. I have given him day to on that radio. You think I'm joking? I will spot that very door for people to understand. People say I'm, I'm putting his life in danger, but that very guy is not a human being at all. Go ahead, my dear boy. Hello. Go ahead, my dear boy. Hello. Uh, what you doing? Yeah. Hello. Hello. What you doing? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Okay. I am sorry, my camera. But I'm. And then you know what I mean. I'm the one who did that. I'm the one who did the phone call. Yeah. And then what I'm saying, I'm going to call them not behind. They listen. I'm not the camera. Or me, I'm not the one who did the phone call. Then I'm not the one who did the phone call. Then I'm not the one who did the phone call. What's the one who did the phone call?
Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much, my dear. Thank you. Well spoken. Well spoken. Very, very well. You see what we are saying here? Mazobas, I greet you very well. Mazobas, I greet you. You see what I'm saying here? When I was talking about this very guy before, people was telling me that I should stop saying it, that he's a principal officer, that we are endangering his life. Look at what is happening to our people. Radio is not on since Saturday till now. Ordinary people in the street are saying, yes, Mnan Nekan is not talking again, and the radio is not talking. That means Biafra has stopped. When I come to say, people think, I, no, no, we are trying to support, support somebody's name. Politicians have paid that very cheat to believe you me. They have paid him. No wonder Chris and Gige come on your day, but FM has said they know where Radio Biafra is anytime they want they own it, anytime they want they off it. That is the reason why he says so. Now I understand very, very well. The radio Biafra number that's supposed to be on, 247 is off. You have to under Call on the phone, can you hear me? Yeah, hello. Give us your name and where you are calling from. I am calling from my My name is uh, Pastor Henry Emmanuel. Thank you very much. Go ahead and speak to us. Yeah. Uh, Concerning the issue of uh, our radio, that radio has, has been used in its feet to do magic to us. We have been using it as a magic. Today we talk, today we not talk. Is that the way the radio is talking to us? Is that the way the radio is talking to us? I remember the time when in power. I know that the radio is speaking every day, taking enjoyment to know any problem. They will rush and do it. But now you see that they, they are rationing, they are rationing it to every person. You say they want to put it, you say they don't want to, they will not put it. And this shows that they have been right over that area, over that area state of the radio. The people that is managing it will come out and give us a account of that area radio. We, they know that the things will be working well to this very ICOD. Those people will come out, they will bring out those management and put them under ICOD leaders. So that things all that we emulate goodness, all that will behave well, all that we know that if it's in effort, you will be treated when you be treated. So they will run away from all these very things. So this thing has been so much, they have been too much. If the boy is hearing you, is hearing you now, let him now understand that uh, you have to make every move. All these things is good, going in a path, and you make this very way to do what you do. In fact, to be cut out, when you will be raised like this before, you can make it. Not in the area, we are seeing it now as a bitterness. So we don't want it. Let them go on, call to the capacity in order. Now, today, I'm hearing even so many people. Are telling me that Chico Kotagi is going and this in the race. Eh? So, what is this? Where comes that very money? And what is job? You know, the IPOC leader must surely put eyes in the water to check off in an ambassador. I have been saying this about the last year after that statement, when we have all those issues. And I, I, I called my boy and said, my boy, please help us. Help us. Call all these very leaders of ICOD in order. Carry us, go somewhere, keep us there. When we, when we reach there, at least one week or two, two to we come out. And nothing happens. We do today, and the thing will continue to do what to increase it. Many people are not happy again for what is happening in ICOD now. That radio is our world, our eyes and our ears. That radio is our power. Every person. So if you come out, they will be asking you some people. I don't know about the people who have to have a time to do this and that and that and that and that. Now, my brother, uh, I thank you for this of your program. I thank you all I do. I thank those of them that you came back, who gave us the prayers and other things. May God help all of you. Yes, sir. It's a mighty name of you to be my sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, my devil. Thank you very, yeah. very much for that well spoken. As you can see, this is another person from Anambara. He has confirmed it again. The radio is not working. 
people are when i'm saying about some somebody will say i hate i don't hate anybody this very idiot they call tj called taji i don't want to read this history. i have i have everything about him here even his personal life i don't want to double into it everything about i have it in my hands here i can read about him now I don't want to give out his phone number and pictures of people and, and, and say, I'll look for him. You are using what belongs to everybody to make chicken change. Nonsense Naira. You are using it to make Naira. This is how you think. When I was saying long ago, Chido Kotaji is not a good person, people say, I'm joking. You say it. Radio Biafra Anambara. It's not working. And the politicians are jubilating. Politicians are jubilating. Policemen that are listening to the welfare are saying, wow, what is waiting to happen now? I know they talk again. Ordinary people on the street that are supporting what we are they are falling behind. They are falling behind because the radio is not on in Anambra. You know how Anambra people think once it's on, they say they, they say, nah, nah, we go that are gone. Is it? Before the protest on it, people say that IPOB is, is dead. People said it on my own face, within me. And IPOB is dead. Until we plant and, and raise up the flag again, everything start working again. This idiot has now shut down the radio. He went and collected money from a woman called Modern Social. Said they're going to buy something, buy AC and put it here. Oh, to our own AC. They involve politicians in what we are doing. They involve politicians in what we are doing. We don't do politics here. They bring politicians into what we are doing here. That is why our analysts in the number is doing like this. People, ordinary people on the street cannot even listen to radio Biafra. Why? We are looking to, to go higher. You are drinking what I'm doing. The suffering people have been suffering for many years. People that have died about this. You are decreasing it. That's where Chidjo Kotaji, Chibu Kikabe, and please, and please, never you leave that guy to go scot free. I'm telling you, Radio Bia Fanambra is not on. That is what I'm saying here. If you have anything to say, you have the right to call us and tell us what you have to say. If you have a very right to call us, and even if you want to counter it, and I will prove you wrong. I'm waiting for them. I will counter it, I will prove you wrong. Chidjo Kotaji must pay for this. He must pay for this. When Gotikuchi Mwomba was there, handling that very radio, everything was working very, very fine. Working very, very smoothly and perfectly. Nobody was complaining. They feel the guys, they do everything necessary. They feel the guys, we came and we, we contributed the money during, from unit zone and everything. We paid it about for the gas. But once it stepped into the hands of this criminal, Everything is done like this. Bunch of criminals using, using the money they made from there to buy cars and build houses. They think we don't know. They think we don't know. Okay, they think they have, they, have, they have arrested me. I cannot talk again. I'm here. I'm here to. I'm here to expose them. I'm here to expose them. Quote me wrong anywhere, and I'll clear myself. Any place, quote me, I'll clear myself. If you know the one I've done, come out and say it. That's, that's For the, the radio show and I'm born in precisely the people who are calling you are members of IPO are there are from Anamba not. Anamba not did not contribute. Nothing like maintenance of that very radio. I personally can contribute money to maintain it. I'm telling you. I, I can do that. I can, I can do here and now. The great deal that we are talking about here has collected millions of naira about this very thing that we are talking about. If you don't know what I'm saying, you get out of here. What I'm saying, what I know. Yes, we are under oath, but who are we? Are we, are, we are under oath with you, and you are doing what you say, what you shouldn't be done. Is that okay with you? I want me to keep quiet, so you continue eating the money you make from there. You think you are here to joke? 
No. The name of the guy is Tito Kortaji. We are here to. I will finish. I said I will finish him today. By tomorrow and the door. I don't care. The radio don't talk. I personally, I will read his profile here. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Yes. Good morning. Black. Good morning from here. Give us your name and where you are calling from. Yeah, uh, my name is Emeka, calling from Thailand. From Thailand? From Nihala, number state. Go ahead and speak to us. Yeah, my brother, I'm Asuibe. What are you? Danielu. Yeah, so... So, before you do make a lego, do you know why? What can I do? What can I do? So, make a lego, do you know who the Afam people, my brothers and sisters? We are married to the Obi from Obi from because I am not there. I have to do this struggle. So, we are not there. I have to stop here. What can I so I keep on going. I she has this struggle. And she and through vote, you know, ten, ten, ten thousand people here through this vote, which is ten percent of an Ambra state, you understand? So I'm very, very happy. Yeah, so she can now. Baba, you may be so go and go in back. Yes, sir. I have that she has. So, two of you go to one hour bumble. Only forget me. And now, what do you do? I pay you members. No one has a chivrazo. Blef I have our land. And she will be a big year. Only forget me. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, my daughter. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for that. The caller from Thailand. Thank you. The guy that just called me now is one of us from Thailand, a very good friend of mine, he lives in Thailand. He has been calling me very, very, for a very long time. So what we are saying here is just a simple thing. That this very young guy we are talking about, I want him, I called him on phone and said to him, on that very radio, stop deceiving people, nothing spoiled there. Stop deceiving people. Then we are, we are hanging your hand because we just, we just it's like we, we are not talking about it. We are not, the caller on WhatsApp can you hear me? The caller on WhatsApp can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you, brother. Good morning. Good morning for you. Give us your name and where you are calling from. Yeah, I'm calling you from Italy. From Italy. Give I'm us calling from Italy and Charles by name. Go ahead. From Delta State, Agbo. Agbo. Yeah, my brother. What, what is your What is your yeah. What is your real name? Charles Ifan Chuku. Who? What is your surname? Yeah, Ifan Chuku is my surname. And what is your local name? My local name is Charles. You don't have any local name apart from Charles? Goyeguache. That, that is your local name, not Charles. Charles is a, a white man's name. Go ahead and speak to us. Yeah, my brother, what I want to talk is this. The truth of the matter is this. The 10% who voted in an umbrella cannot overshadow the 90%. It can never happen, and there is no anywhere in the world that it can happen. So we must fight for our rights. We believe in Biafra. There is no country like Nigeria. And me, I don't believe in Nigeria. To hell with Nigeria. Anytime, any day. That is the truth. Yeah. So we must fight. And also, take the struggle to people in Agbo. Me personally, I told my family that there is no election in Agbo in any way, and my family can never vote for any politician who calls himself a thief, and they are thief, and we know that. That is the truth, and we must fight it. God bless you, my brother. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for that. Fake, this is not radio. IPOB, we are on Zoom with that. Thank you very much for that, Gene. You are welcome. 
Welcome. The call on the phone, can you hear me? I cannot hear you very well. Your voice is very, very low. Your voice is very, very low. Very, very low. And we we'll continue to do what we are doing here. We are still saying about this very lesson. If you have anything to say, you have to call us and say it now. Because I have to put everything this guy, I have it here. All the money they made, I have it here on my documents. They was, they was responsible for 30th of May 2016. He was responsible for that. And this one, he's responsible for it too. I believe uh, our deputy have heard about what I have. I have heard that I know he knows it. I believe he knows it. I believe he knows it. I believe. I have a caller here on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? I Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Good morning from here. Give us a number where you are calling from. This is Councilor Machupu Kalam from India. From India. Can you hear that? This was my dad, brother. Hello? Go ahead and speak to us. Um, truly, I want to thank um, all the friends, all the IPOB family for uh, successful boycott of some an election. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate all our effort. And um, who is this um, Chijoke or whoever that that is um, hacking our radio Biafra in Anambra State? What's his problem? That guy is uh, is Anambra State North Coordinator, and uh, he is the one in charge of that relationship in Anambra. And uh, as I speak to you now, the radio Biafra in Anambra is not working, and many people, ordinary people on the street, are slacking back, saying a lot of things, and they say that some people are saying that we IPOB has run away; they can they are not saying anything again. They said they are not hearing from Nan the Kano. That Radio Biafra is not working again. And this thing continues to happen every day by day. It continues to happen. Then we are he should to... stop playing with the, the, the lives of all Biafras. He's, he's just a stupid man indeed. That's what we are saying huh? here. How can he start um, playing with the lives of the whole Biafra people? After voting in Anambra State, we successfully boycott the election, and the, what, the next thing he did is just to shut down the radio station. I believe he was paid by the politician, I believe. Uh, of course, of course. So we really thank all the Biafrans, all the Anambrarians, all the IPOBs for successful boycott of Anambra election. We have shown the Nigerian government that we are indeed a great people and we are the real owners of Biafra land. That is a very nice one indeed. We really appreciate all our effort and you indeed, I really appreciate you because it is not easy. The evangelism was so successful. Yeah. We really thank you. And say, Mechuko Kikabiyama continue to bless you. You see? You see? Thank you very, very much for that. Thank you. And again, this um, particular idiot, I don't know who he is, that I used to call himself from, um, uh, is it uh, Usika or um, God, Weapon of Justice or whatever. Yeah. I don't know who is sending him. Always insulting our great leader on his um, Facebook, and uh, whenever he speaks, he calls him thief, um, thief, call him a liar. Deceiver. I don't really know what's wrong with that guy. I don't know how much they paid him. We don't. But I know he's just de de we, we displaying his madness. We don't debate with you. We don't debate with uh, some people that don't know what we are saying. So we leave them to continue back in like matter. Thank you very much, my dear brother from India. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome, brother. Next caller on the phone. Can you hear me? Next caller on the phone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, 
We have a caller here on the phone. Call on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Good morning from here. Give us your Hello? name. Give us your name and where you are calling from, please. Call on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Give us your name and where you are calling from. Uh, please, uh, my name is uh, Walter Wenegat Enemy. What is your real name, my dear brother? My real name is, um, is uh, Okechuku Onyema. Go ahead and speak to us. Um, um, I will speak in English and I will still speak in my own language called Igbo. Thank you, my dear brother. Go ahead. <laughs> So, um, so what I have to say is this, I want to thank all my brothers, their friend brothers. I want to thank them all for the good work they do, for them to not go and do the vote. I'm thanking only the people who do not go and do the vote. That is only the people I'm thanking. I'm not thanking the goat and the... And the, and the animals who used because of money and went and told the vote. I am thanking only the people who look upon the money and say, let the money go to hell for we to get what we want. And the day stand, they say that the vote will not be hold. I want to thank all of them. And please, I want to say this. Let them tell that young man in Anambra State. Let them talk to that young man. Let them tell that young man said, let him on the Biafra radio. Let him on the Biafra radio. But if he refuse to on the Biafra radio, he will have a problem. My dear brother, you see, we have a problem here. This is what is going to happen now. You know, Iruanya and the, the rest of them have built their latest, uh, their FM in Biafra land. Yeah. And they are trying to mm -hmm. suppress Biafra land now with their, their FM now. Then why should our early lesson be off at this point in time? That is, that is the thing. My brother, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That young man has been paid to be holding Biafra radio. That young man has been paid to be holding Biafra radio to no work. Because, why did I say this? Is because I paid him for the Biafra radio to no work. That is why he hold Biafra radio. Because of what? Because of what? Biafra radio, the whole world can see what is happening. In Anambra immediately. In all over the Nigeria, all over, all over the zoo. All over. And that's why they paid him to off it. They told the, they told that young man, went to own it and went to off it. Exactly. This is what happening. They paid him, and, he, and they are paid him. They told him that he can get anything he can get to see that Biafra Lady in Anamba is no more working. It's not going on. Because of why, that is where the EU is getting information direct. Exactly. American is getting information direct. Um, other country, UK, is getting information direct. But this big fool used because of money. He used because of money to sell in people. That young man is a very big fool. He's a very big idiot. Because of money, how much they pay you? How much they pay you to off the Biafra radio for the whole world to not see what is happening in the whole world? That young man was paid and that young man know what he's doing there. That young man know what he's doing. And I speak with anger. If that young man do not under Biafra radio, 
I give a credit to on that Biafran radio. If he refuses to own that Biafran radio, I will speak that he will die in that office. Because that is where people all over the world is getting direct information. What is happening? What is going on? EU, EU is very interested in that in that uh, in that uh, Biafra uh, radio. Because of why that is only the people who can pass the truth. America is interested. UK is interested. Germany is interested. Swiss is interested. Because that is where they get the real truth. That is where they get the real truth. What is happening? That is where, that is where, if I tell you something, in Germany, here I am, one German man, a German man was just, was just uh, speaking uh, with me one time ago. He said, Nigeria, they don't know what they are doing. These people that call themselves IPOB Biafran, Biafran have started a long time ago before Nigeria started. The man know the history. The man know the history about Nigeria started. So why that your man we off our radio? Because of how much? Because of how much? How much they give to him to make him to 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 be to be doing the people do what, what he wants? I give that your man pass this. Let this let the whole pass the message to across to him. I give him credit to all the Biafra radio in an state immediately. Let on the Biafra radio. Man knows that he will die in that office. If you set to on that Biafra radio, be still treated and let the Biafra radio to know off anymore. That is where we, that is where the, all over the world get information. What is happening? What is going on? He cannot be Judas second time. Judas that betrayed Jesus Christ. He cannot be like him anymore. If Obiano or whatever or whatever paid him to do that, let him stop it, man or that he will die in that office. Our leader is missing now. They, nobody knows where our leader is. Nobody knows where our leader is to today. If you that their father, we will know what is happening. And that idiot collected the money, betrayed his people, collected the money. They pay that your man, so let him on the Biafra radio. If it's, you know that you don't want to work on that Biafra radio, let him go out from there. Let him back out from that place. Let him go, go out uh, from that place. Let there somebody who can work on that it, uh, take care of it. They are killing Biafra every day. Every day they are killing Biafra. Biafra are dying every day. No news. It's only, it's only the video, it's only the video uh, they sent uh, to us here, or they share to the world. The people they hide, they hide, they just hide uh, to make the video and share. Before the video be, before the video we move around, it's already too late. So tell that your man, let him on the platform, let you on that three days if he fail to own it. If he fell to own Biafra radio, he will die on there. Thank you very this much. This time, thank you very we much. have to be free. So, my brother, I thank you very much. Thank you. You, you that are keeping up uh, the work, nothing will happen to you. you sure? Anybody that plan for you people to die, that person will die before uh, you people. You sure? No matter where that person stands, Biafra, we are going short. We are not going back. May God bless you all. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you. Well spoken all the way from Germany. So one of us uh, here before. Yeah, what we are saying here is a very simple issue here. I'm not threatening anybody. I'm telling you the fact and figures what we need to do. That little lesson is supposed to be on. 
even if that guy like it or not. We have a caller here on the phone on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good morning from here. Yes, I'm calling from Thailand. My name is Michael Asubito. Go ahead and speak to us. Yeah, my brother, I'm very grateful for what you people have done in the other land. I'm very, very, very grateful. You people have tried to make us proud that we, the African, we are part of you people. Thank you very much. And I'm proud of, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of Anambra people that they, they have never even disappointed us for one day. So I thank Chuko Gobiema to test everybody in the African land that we have obeyed our leader, Mahasin Nam De Kalo, about what he told us to obey him. So I thank you for everybody in the other land to listen to our leader for what you have said about us. The Chuko Gobiema blessed. Lost him. Let's call on the phone. Can you hear me? And his name is uh, Ogeochi, Ogeochi somebody. I don't, I don't know that girl. But what I'm telling our Biafra people, let that girl not confuse anybody. Because we are not Nigeria, we are Biafra. And we are not contending any Can you hear me? Anybody who wants to contest a nation on his family and his brother, that we are not contesting any election as I cannot hear you very, very well. We are not contesting election. can hear you very, very well. Your voice is very, very low. I'm not hearing you very clearly. I don't know. Hello? Your voice is very, very low. I'm not hearing you very okay. Can you call us back, please? Maybe it's network that is stopping here. What we are saying, in the essence of what we are saying here, is that Anambra leadership is off. Anambra leadership is off. And the Ilkri for the Iruanya and all the rest of them is trying to launch their own FM in Biafra land. You know our people that cannot go through the internet and access Facebook, our YouTube, and watch the program of Radio Biafra Live some, uh, uh, on Facebook. Many of them cannot do that. So many people have been calling me. Please, what can we do? Some somebody said I should come to his, she should come to my house and I should on the radio so he can listen. It. After this, he will go back from my Facebook. People, it is important to people to listen to Radio Biafra. But people who, are, who think they are working with us are the ones killing us. It's as simple as that. Very simple as that. Because he is a, a you know, working for Biafra is an it's just a it's opportunity. It's just a, a grace. You are privileged to be partaking in the restoration of Biafra. You are privileged. That is why when I was going to villages and villages, villages upon villages, I was going very villages. I find it as a, as a, as a, as a privilege to work for Biafra. Call on the phone, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good morning from here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Give us your name and where you are calling from. Yeah, my name is Arnold Ekrubi. I'm from Cambodia. That is the job name. In Cambodia? I'm calling. This is Arnold Ekrubi. I'm from Cambodia. The job name. Okay. I'm calling because of from um, statement I'm hearing about Mr. Chijo. Yeah. I'm not happy for that. And uh, once again, is, um, when it happened in any group, I know what I did. The former any group of letter. So what I'm trying to advise the number of people, let them try their best to locate where Chijo is, defend how I trade 
the coordinator of Enu, the former Enugu coordinator. That is why he earned it within two days. So I'm advising the Anambra before IPOB to go and locate where he is and uh, let him on the radio because one person is not more than two persons, more than one to two, I mean. So this, this is small thing for us to do. This is just a small matter. So if Anambra wants to be ready to be talking, they know what to do. They have to go and uh, capture the man and uh, collect the radio immediately from him. That's what I want to say. This is, I'm saying it directly to Anambra IPOB. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, uh, yeah. the, the Radio Biafra International of these very idiots, the grief of the Iluanya and the rest of them, they are trying to launch a, a, an FM here in Biafra land. And uh, is it not suspicious because how can somebody just off the radio during this very period? You know, now people want this to listen to Radio Biafra. You know, you understand that. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? We lost him. We lost him here. We lost him. What we are saying here is that our little lesson is off. I will continue saying this. And after today, the OK profile will be lit here. My brother, are you back here? Yeah, I decided to call back. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you yeah. now. I'm hearing you now. Yeah, I can't find out this number because we can show Nigerian number, but it's not Nigeria with um, how I connect it. Okay, no problem. So you are talking about uh, uh, Radio Biafra International. Yeah. You know about Radio Biafra International, I told the world before that Freeport in Rwanda, I saw them in June, I feel being under the leadership in the canal. I know their traffic, even the, the top men, which I can't mention their name, their plan how to take over the radio. And um, I, I send it to which I for, and I say I like it in my world, but the problem, they don't hear me, they don't understand, they don't want to believe me, they say it's fake news. But uh, what I said is reality. So what we have to do, the people that is doing this is people, the Iranians and the Nomeo. They are stronger and this support they are, is they are, they are like um, uh, what uh, what can I say? They are evil men. They are evil men. They yeah. try all their best how to overthrow the leader of um, the leader of IPO the man the can. And the word the strategy they want to use now is they want to use the radio because they say that they will take over all the Biafra land. Yeah, they they will take over all the Biafra land. So what they are trying to do now is, you know, uh, in a, they will take home in Enugu in because the former coordinator in Enugu, the former coordinator joined them. They will take home in, uh, at Enugu too. And now they, are, they will first come to Anagua and uh, Imo and the other states. When they took over that place, then they can get so other people, they are already going towards them because they are putting money and they are spending money to them so that they can believe what they are saying is truth. Because they think that IPOB under the leadership of Finland, the Canon, cannot give them what they want. And, but they know that everybody is sacrificing themselves. I myself, as I derive my money, I do everything. I'm not, I don't want any benefit from IPOB. I'm just, I'm just spending for my own money. But they thought that they can benefit for this IPOB international, this uh, legal government international, spending money, giving them money to try to change from Radio Biafra London to Radio Biafra International. That's what they're trying to do now. And this strategy they are using is still June. They start doing all this. So what I'm trying to tell you, uh, our people in Anambra, this is not a small issue. This is a very big issue. You have to go now 
and took over the radio because these people they are so so powerful. These people, what I'm saying is powerful. They are so powerful, but they are not power than IPOB under the dark troop of Nandi Khan. But they are so powerful. They have some strategy who they want to use, but not everything I will say here. So what I'm trying to advise our people in Anambra, please don't waste time. Go and take the radio. Go and take the radio from Chijoke before it will be too late. Take it and somebody again, and somebody else can handle it. Somebody else can handle it. Find, don't look for the people that is rich. Don't look for people that have houses. Look for the responsible people who is just ordinary like others that can take hold, put hand this thing over to them. Because to put it for all these people that you thought that they reach, they can handle it, these people them need more money. They like money. They want to put the they they, 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 they they need money. All this car you see them driving, all these houses, you don't know how they make their money. They make their money through all these ways. They cannot go and hustle and make money. They make money from all these particular thing, oh the transmitter is not working, we need two hundred thousand, oh the transmitter is not working, exactly. we need three hundred thousand. Exactly. That's what they are doing. So that they can be getting small small money from there. So I don't know any question I didn't want to ask you. No, no problem. I, I I heard what you say. That is very, very correct. And I thank you for that. I thank you for that for understanding what I'm saying here because some of our people don't understand something that is is propaganda, something I'm just trying to tackle, tackle the guy and damage his name. No, that is only I'm saying the right thing here. I'm so far, so that's this is not propaganda. Even yesterday, which I never mentioned, because uh, they purposely do that, which uh, we seek on panel because we know everything we, uh, uh, you have to hear from others. We still want to confirm if the this the this uh, uh, incumbent governor, what is the name of the or the you know, uh, if they have paid him, we keep trying to confirm because that particular day the election, I hear it off too. Yeah. I hear a lot of things about the, what happened. So what we have to check is if they have paid him. Or his book, or if is this uh, uh, this strategy being the Radio Biafra International, powered by which um, crypto in Rwanda, if what they are their strategy, this is to them either that the the Odia not pay him, or the Biafra Radio Biafra International is working with them because the Radio Biafra International say that they will take over all Biafra land. So that is the two things you, we have got up. Thank you so much. Before you go, before you go, Pia, there was a program, Chris Mwabez was invited and in a radio station in Anambara, the, uh, in the, the, it's called Udenibo FM. Uh, Chris Mwabez opened his mouth. I think that, that didn't happen in, in August. He said, yeah. we know where Radio yeah. Biafra is. When we like, yeah. we own it. When we like, we off it. I don't know that that very quick, yeah. that very statement yeah. sounds somehow it sounds very fetish. Yeah, what you said is true because they, they they have leaked the secret, which the mistake we the IPOB is doing it. We support immediately the secret and be there because it revealed. Uh, on August, I think August or July, I thought before when in the day, say that that message. Then I shocked myself. Because he said that they know where the radio Jaffa is. Which, if that means that they can do whatever they want to do on it. Yeah. So now it's time for us to go and take over that our radio and take it to other places. Because nothing we can do. Let's go and collect the radio and hand it over as we did in Enugu. Because in Enugu, not the same person that had it before is handling it. I thought it's that. So we have to do the same thing now in China. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very, very much, my dear brother. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We keep in touch. Okay, thank you, bye. Yeah, hi. Well spoken, well spoken. These are people that understand what we are saying here. The number to call is plus two, three, four. 
I repeat again, plus 234-9026-9309-62. That is the number to call. Once you call, we have to take your calls. Call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Your voice is very, very low. I don't know what is going on with it. I don't know what is going on with it. Once it's... Uh, 10.30, we have to close this very program. You still have the time to give us your contributions about this very little system of little matter. We gave it to you only Thursday to on that very radio. This is today. If that radio don't talk today, he will hear from me. I will expose him the more. Both the places spent and collected money, I will expose him. I don't want to double into people's personal life. I don't want it. I only want him to own that very radio so that my people here in Anambra can understand what is going on in the whole of Biafra land. People can understand. For me, I can listen via Facebook and not the rest of them. But what of other people that cannot rest in there? That's what we are saying. You still have time to give us and make a contribution. Once it's 10.30 a.m. here in Biafra, we have to shut this program down. We are still going on doing our producing what we are doing. And we remember to thank all of you. I have not forgotten that, please. To thank all of you that give us, uh, that prayed for us uh, during uh, the time of evangelism. Those that gave us some support, uh, that made us that very evangelism to be successful. We went over hundreds, uh, hundreds of villages. We went to in Anambra, and they said they are not going to vote, and they did not vote. By the way, they didn't even vote. Uh, we went to for so many villages. It's not as, it was not an easy job to be sincere with you. It is not an easy job to be sincere with you. I'm still very, very down since then. I'm just still recovering from all the stress and all the rest of them. Uh, the stress was too much. Going to many villages, preaching to market women and market men. Those that don't understand what freedom means, going there to preach for them, it's not an easy job, but we, we have to do it. We have to do it, and we have done it. And we continue preaching Biafra everywhere. Even, where, even in Lagos, I've preached Biafra in the streets of Lagos. I've preached Biafra in the streets of Lagos. And here I'm, here, I'm back in Biafra land once again to continue this very job. And we must continue. We must continue, believe me, we must continue. We must continue, believe you me. Though for those that are still sending me messages, uh, thank you, messages, appreciation, and uh, uh, congratulations to the successful boycott of an election. We welcome you for that. We welcome you all. It is, it, it, it is done, it's done by Chukukika Abiyama. I will not them do it. It's Chukukika Abiyama that helped us accomplish it. The reason why we accomplish it because Anything we want to do, we do it because Chuko Gaima said we have to do that. Before I said that I must join this very struggle in 2015, I said to myself, I asked Chuko Kika Abiyama, will Biafra come in this, this very generation? Chuko Abiyama said to me, anything you put your hand into, you must accomplish it. I was shocked. Then I, I said we must continue. Any project in this very Biafra and we put our hand in it, we must finish it. We, we accomplish it. That is why we jubilate on 18th of November. That is the reason why we are jubilating to today. When Biafra comes, that very 18th of November, we never forgotten. Believe in me. Never, ever, ever. I believe it is already 10:30 a.m. Biafra, and this is where we'll be ending this very program. I think so. Uh, Chuko Ikayama is very wonderful to making it possible for us today to be here. And we ask all of you that have been listening to what we are saying here to go and tell your friends and well wishers that our leaders in Anambra is not working. And Chijoke Otaji is responsible for that. He is responsible for that. And for the second time, we have warned him to under the radio. And if you don't do that, he will hear from me. He will hear from me, believe you me, because that radio helps a lot of our people. 
I say, my two, God bless you and bless your family and the family of IPO. Be blessed, my name, the canon. Bless my sister, my four. Bless all those fighting for this very dear friend to come. Those fighting with their lives, those fighting with their money, anything you can contribute in this very struggle to make it forward. May Chukoka bless you and bless you in abundantly. May Chukoka please remember those of our people that died, those of them that are still in the hospital, those are still in different secret prisons and all the rest of them. May Chukoka please and please remember them and give them your guidance and everything they need. That at the end, when Biafra come, we will rejoice in truth and every honesty. And we thank you, Chukoka, for making it possible for us today. We say may you go lead us safely everywhere we are going in the mighty name of Tukuki Kabiyama. You say, you say, you say, from me, from here, I say good morning to you all. Triumphant